Let's talk about a brand that I rarely talk about. Goyard. Goyard uh, searches for the brand have gone up 95% in Q2 of this year and I'm probably seeing more Goyard being talked about and posted about than I've noticed in recent years. The Goyard train is not slowing down so I thought that we would spend some time getting like a brief overview why people love the brand, what is so alluring about it and also why I haven't jumped on the train. So Goyard, much like Louis Vuitton, is a brand that started in the 1850s centred on trunk making, okay? They are there with those fabulous cuboid moments with your little locks and you're going on your Orient Express with your Hercule Poirot and a love in a lovely dining cart in your first class and whatever. I don't know if you understood anything that just came out of my mouth, but if you do, we're on the same wavelength. And they are also famous for the Goyardine canvas. This is this sort of like, I don't know how you see it, but it, it looks like wise, right? That's how I sort of see it in my mind, right? But we've seen it, we know this. Their most popular pieces are definitely the bags. And within that, you've got the Saint Louis. This is an alternative to the Neverfull essentially. This is, you didn't want to Louis Vuitton, so you went for a Goyard. Very, very similar sort of, you know, trapezoidal shape there. Leather handles, comes in your classic Goyard canvas colour, we'll, we'll get back to this, and also another range of colours as well. Also comes with a little pouch, a two for one, we love it. I mean, they say that the St. Louis is, is reversible, but you're reversing it into, I think, like a linen. Nobody's going to be carrying that around linen side out. But if you did want to reverse it, then they do have the Anjou. This is a leather lined version. And again, depending on what colour you get, the lining is, is, is like monochromatic to that colour. That means that you can flip it inside and out and you've either got a solid, let's say it's orange, your solid orange leather or orange canvas, right? So that one, I think, definitely sort of goes more along the, ver the, the reversible route. Then if you want to zip, then you have the Artois, which is very, very similar to the St. Louis, except that it does have a zip across the top and the four corners of the base of the bags are reinforced with leather that gives it a bit more structure. Okay, so she's a little bit more, she's great for travel. Again, if you're worried about hands and, you know, sticky fingers getting involved and all of that, a zip is, is, is the best way to go. So you do have those options. But more recently, people have been loving the Mini Anjou. This is a really small, cute tote, but spacious. You've got room for a bottle of water, for a wallet, for, you know, whatever little things you need to run your errands, a makeup pouch, headphones, all of that. You can fit quite a lot in there. And again, it's reversible like its larger size with the leather lining and all of that. But the other bag style that is also very, very highly sought after is the Saigon. This comes in two styles. You've either got the structured version or the soft version. The structured version tends to be more expensive because you also have these sort of wooden details on the bag except for the handle that's wooden on, on both the soft and the hard. They make limited quantities of these blah 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 and also what are very popular other SLGs, wallets, card holders, things like that. So it's unsurprising the pieces from the brand that perform very well. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. And I also have a podcast, check it out. Okay, exclusivity is a big reason why people love Goyard. They don't traditionally advertise. You cannot buy them online. You can only buy them at Goyard boutiques, of which, let me tell you how many there are worldwide. You've got six in North America, one in South America, five in Europe, and 12 in Asia. You are not getting Goyard outside of those unless you go to like a personal shopper. They also do not let you sort of email to order or anything like that. And to be honest with you, that exclusivity sort of adds to the allure of the brand. It's not as commonly seen as a Louis Vuitton or other sort of designer brands. Even a brand like Chanel, which doesn't sell online, 
has many, many more boutiques worldwide and is much more, you will see so many more Chanel bags than you probably will see Goyard. And as we know from brands like Hermes, the more you can't have something, the more apparently we want it. Also, it's not as simple as, okay, if you do find yourself getting, you know, or living close to a boutique or whatever, you going and saying, this is what I want, this is the colour that I want it in, you know, bish, bash, bosh, you've got it, sort of thing. Not to the certain extent of Hermes where there's a game and hoops and all of this to jump through, but things are made in sort of limited quantities such that for some items more than others, like the Saigon at the moment, they'll say, well, in that size, we've only got it in these colours currently. So again, depending on the item, you might not have sort of the pick of the crop. Now, the canvas pieces, as I mentioned earlier, come in the classic Goyard sort of brown and also several colours. It used to be that any colour except for the classic would come at a premium. You would pay extra for like a yellow or an orange or a grey or a white or whatever. Recently they've stopped that, so actually all of the colours, classic and sort of fun colours, are the same price. Then each year they do also have limited edition colours. I believe it's the 170th anniversary of Goyard this year and they've got camouflage, they've got another sort of, I don't even know how to describe what's going on there, but another sort of design. Then they've got the, the Goyardine canvas in like a grey and blue, grey and pink and a special shade of green. These sort of limited edition colours will have a different price point. Um, depending on the item, but generally for your standard colours they are all the same price now. So why haven't I fallen for it? You know, this seems like something that I would like, and yes there are some styles that I've, you know, considered and whatever, and there have been kind of a, a number of reasons as to why, and never say never, I might turn around, you know, in a couple of months time and be like, unboxing my first Goyard piece or whatever. But one issue that is now not an issue was the difference in pricing between classic and colours. Like I said, now, now they've changed that, so that's sort of, but it was a factor previously that was like, I didn't want the brown, of course I didn't. I, I, I would have wanted a yellow or a grey and then that had a premium and then that sort of like put me off a bit. So that now is obviously a non-issue. The other thing that I find is a bit of an obstacle is they don't sell online. And because of that, it's hard to get any sort of actual price information. And yes, they have limited boutiques, so I've, I've heard of people calling up to ask for pricing. I tried that a couple of times and it just so happens that they've never picked up. Um, I've emailed for pricing and nobody ever got back to me. So unless you like go in and then, you know, ask for the price or whatever, you've got to really ferret around the internet to get any idea of pricing. And then again, you might not get, you know, they're only really going to tell you for the most popular pieces. What if you want something, you know, random and then you can't find anything. So that sort of annoys me because, even with quota bags from Hermes, there's a lot of online information about pricing um, and everything else you can probably find on the Hermes website for an idea. And so that sort of annoys me and has previously sort of turned me off a bit. And I have considered the Mini Anjou tote because of course that's something that, you know, I would like. And my issue here is it's about, first of all, the US pricing for Goyard is pretty bad, as in like, the, the, the Mini Anjou is 1,745 pounds in 2023, and the US price is 2,590. In my mind, two, $2,500 for a small tote is, to me that's, yeah, no, it's not happening. So I ended up going for something like my Alaya Mina tote, which is fully leather, which the Goyard one isn't, that was, I think the US price is 1,500. I paid just over a thousand pounds because that even had, you know, a 30% off or whatever it was in the UK. And you see, it's like, there's a thousand dollars difference there. And I know it's not the same bag, but it has sort of the same use. And in, and in my mind, I was happier going for the Alaya one, right? But also when I was looking for a vanity case, this was December 2021, I wanted to buy myself a, a like a big cosmetics case. And you've got the Louis Vuitton Nice BB, which is now just over 900 pounds. 
And I, I, my, actually my first choice was the Goyard one and I wanted it in a yellow. And I remember going into store and fair enough, it like comes with a crossbody straps so that you can use it as a bag. But I didn't like the fact that this was well over a thousand pounds. I think it was like 1,500 ish pounds for the classic, for the classic colors. And at the time they were charging extra for, for the, you know, the fun colors or whatever. So it was even more expensive. And I remember thinking like, that's just ridiculous. So I ended up going for the Celine one, which was actually 650 ish or something like that. You know, those sort of price differences between the brands. I was like, it's not, everybody values brands differently in their head. And for me, I didn't value the Goyard vanity enough to pay that difference in price compared to another brand. The other thing is that for the canvas pieces, something like the um, Saint Louis tote, the canvas is thinner than Louis Vuitton canvas. So whilst Louis Vuitton never falls or whatever, or canvas bags, you will see a sagging. When you compare it to the Goyard bags, the Goyard bags sag a lot more because the canvas is thinner. I've also heard of, and this isn't really something that turns me off, which is like some people have like quality issues or whatever, because that's not the case with 100% of them, right? So that bit I sort of was like, mm, you're charging more for, for less. So there was that also in the back of my mind. This is also a very small thing, but it is something that I don't like and I don't know why they do it. But when they give you the bag, it has plastic on the handles. And that's something that like, I sort of see with counterfeit items or with like DH gate items, is that they've got plastic on the bag where you wouldn't necessarily see. Like if you buy a, a bag from anywhere else, you wouldn't necessarily have that sort of plastic on a handle. And so I, I, don't, I don't know, it's a very small thing, but it's something that I've been like, I wonder why they do that. I don't think it adds anything. So generally to me, it's just one thing after another. It feels like a bit of a hassle. The exclusivity part of it and like, you know, usually queuing for the boutiques, blah, blah, blah. It just feels like a bit of like, a, ugh, for exactly a brand that I personally haven't bought into and like value enough to do that. I'm not saying that I won't and you know, I something might come out and I might be like, actually that's wonderful. And you know, like for example, the Goyard sort of concession that they have in Bergdorf is, is very nice and you don't have to queue and all of that as opposed to the actual Goyard store. And so there's ways around it, but it's just like, I just don't feel any connection to the brand. And so that's why, you know, I'm Goyardless. But there you go. Are you a Goyard fan? How do you feel about Goyard? Let me know your thoughts. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.